HDMI splitters are designed to distribute a single HDMI source to multiple displays, but several common issues can prevent them from working properly. An HDMI splitter takes one input signal and distributes it to multiple output displays simultaneously. The first common issue is insufficient power. Many HDMI splitters require external power adapters to function properly, especially when driving multiple high-resolution displays. Signal degradation occurs when HDMI cables are too long. As shown in this diagram, signals weaken over distance and can experience reflection, leading to poor image quality or complete signal loss. Poor cable connections and low-quality cables are frequent culprits. Always ensure HDMI cables are firmly seated in the correct orientation, check for physical damage, and use high-quality cables that support your required bandwidth. HDMI version compatibility is crucial. This table shows different HDMI versions and their capabilities. All devices in your setup must support compatible versions, or you may experience resolution limitations or missing features like HDR support. HDCP errors are another common issue. HDCP is a copyright protection protocol that requires all devices in the chain to be compliant. If any device doesn't support HDCP or has compatibility issues, you'll see black screens, pink tints, or complete signal failure. Understanding these common issues helps identify why your HDMI splitter might not be working. The key factors are adequate power, proper cable quality and length, HDMI version compatibility, HDCP compliance, and secure connections. Start troubleshooting with basic checks. First, ensure all HDMI cables are firmly connected in the correct orientation. Confirm the splitter has adequate power from a reliable source using the original power adapter. Verify all devices support the same HDMI version and HDCP standards. Power cycling resolves over 60% of temporary glitches. Unplug the splitter and all connected devices for a few minutes, then reconnect systematically. Test each TV independently by connecting the source device directly to each display. This helps identify compatibility issues between specific devices. Combat signal degradation by shortening HDMI cable lengths or using active splitters with built-in signal amplifiers. For long distances over 100 meters, consider hd based t technology using CAT6 or CAT6A cabling. For advanced troubleshooting, ensure proper EDID communication between devices and check for firmware updates. EDID allows devices to communicate their supported resolutions and features. When connecting a laptop, designate HDMI as the default output connection in your settings. Try different display modes like duplicate or extended and ensure your output resolution matches the display capabilities. If output resolution is limited, it's due to the lowest common format that all connected displays can accept. The system automatically scales to ensure compatibility across all devices. A systematic troubleshooting approach can resolve over 90% of splitter problems. Following these steps methodically will help you identify and fix most common issues efficiently.